In this video, we're going to unbox a portable battery pack you can charge with solar. It's Da Vinci time. Here we go for the uh, unboxing of the All Powers Portable Solar Generator UPS. Uh, we'll take a look a bit on the front. So uh, it accepts AC 110 and 220 input volts for charging. It has uh, four USB-A ports here. Uh, it also has DC outputs and Type-C for MacBook. We also have support solar panel charging from 12 to 18 volts. So what we'll do is we'll flip it round now. And this is the back. So we also have smart uh, power surge protection. Omega capacity, so we've got 288 watt hours on this, which equates to 78,000 milliamp hours, if you're familiar with that. Uh, high rated power output of 350 watts, and this operation temperature is between minus 20 and plus 60 degrees C. And we have four AC outputs uh, for 288 watts total, so that'd be the total watt hours uh, in this battery. Let's have a look on the end. We've got uh, the specific uh, details and the specifications here. So this gives you all the information you need to know and uh, a few warnings about the multiple protection options on this particular device. And the other end as well, we also have um, recharge. You have to recharge every four months, uh, use original or certified cables, don't disassemble, avoid dropping, uh, don't expose to liquids, uh, I suppose because that's electric and it's battery, uh, battery power, uh, and avoid extreme temperatures, even though it's got a great operating range. So what we'll do is we'll pop this open now and have a look to see what we have inside. Okay, so it comes all packaged up nicely in there, if you can see that. So we have a, a manual to begin with. So um, that will be uh, standard, standard information about all the ports that you get on here, how you can charge it and what do, uh, the do's and don'ts of using this particular device. So it comes in multiple languages. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll uh, move this to one side and actually get this out of the box. Okay, there we have it. So we have a, we already have a charging cable in there. So it's a two pin, so we'll uh, leave that there. Okay, so it's uh, well packaged. This is a very neat looking unit. So we have its branding on the top, the all powers, and then the battery indicator right there. And the back is uh, blank. So this is the uh, business end here. So we have uh, various connectors on here. So we have our AC outputs here as well as here. So these are AC outputs here. We have an AC uh, LED on there and uh, AC charge. We have a 12 uh, volt DC outputs right here as well as the USB A ports and also a type C there. Uh, we, it looks like we have AC output on and off there as well as uh, DC output uh, on or off. So that means you've got control there meaning you don't have to have everything switched on because if you're using the AC output you would actually need to have uh, the inverter, the internal inverter switched on so it can switch the DC power that's stored within the batteries over to AC which you can use in the normal way. Okay so this is the other end of uh, the device which uh, has a solar input down here which is good for the uh, obviously the solar panels that you can get they're an optional extra that you can get for this which we will test at a later date. You also have a solar charge indicator there. Uh, the main part in the middle is the 12 volt uh, output here, so that's your cigarette lighter which has uh, got marine put on it, so I'm assuming this is a marine class one because of the type of socket cover. Uh, the next part on here is uh, the screw which uh, holds the uh, AC fuse, so this is also the AC input here. So this is good as we said earlier for 110 volts or 220 volts for the UK, so the 110 volts is obviously good for the US and other countries that use that voltage. So this is where this particular um, cable comes in handy, so you can charge it direct off your normal mains. Now, if you're just going to see how much charge this comes with, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the 
AC on off to get an idea if the indicator on the front uh, works as it comes out of the box. So as you can see on here, we've actually got already got four um, LEDs charged on this. So what we're going to do uh, in a minute is um, I'm just, just going to try, as you can see the, LED, the AC LEDs come on there as well, I'm just going to try um, powering a mains device. So I'm actually going to use one of the lights I'm filming with today uh, just, to, just to show how uh, easy it is to use. So if you bear with me for a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for the lighting. As you know, I've just removed one of my uh, filming lights. So here is the plug for the uh, light. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to plug that into uh, one of the standard AC outputs now. And these lights are running on uh, 220 volts, because uh, again, I'm in the UK. So I'm now going to switch on the uh, AC, if you can see that, the AC on and off. And there we have it. The light has actually come on. It's now indicating that I'm drawing current from this uh, battery as we're getting uh, the flash indicator on the, the fourth bar there. So as you can see, this light is uh, working again as it was before when I started filming this uh, particular unboxing. So I'd uh, class that as a success. So um, this is uh, great. We're gonna have a look at this. We're gonna do some uh, tests on this to see how well it works from um, you know eight other AC devices. Just like to thank you for your time today. If you did like this video, please uh, click the like and subscribe to our channel because we're going to do many more tests specifically with devices such as this. We're going to do some more reviews and please put any suggestions down in the comments box as what you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks for your time and uh, we'll see you soon.